All right, we are picking up with OSPF area types, and here, of course, to tell us all about it, Anthony Sequeira. All right, Anthony, where are we going to start? Ronnie, so the normal area is uh, something that you know we've we've definitely set up before, but it's time to push the envelope a little bit. Here's a topology that I set up for us, Ronnie, and yeah, we'll take a look at this uh, from an LSA perspective because that's really what we're talking about here, right? We're talking about those different link state advertisements, and we'll get to see them in action in this episode. But what I've set up for us, Ronnie, is, is just a normal uh, area out there, OSPF Area 51. Notice we've got some redistribution of RIP going on on the R1 router. And what we're going to do in this episode, as you might guess, is we're going to go in and modify this topology so that we have, of course, a stub area. And then we'll try the totally stub area. And then how about the not so stubby area? Now, notice to get this one, Ronnie, we'll have to redistribute into the stub, making it a not so stubby area by definition. And then, of course, we'll take a look at the jumbo shrimp <laughs> of the OSPF world the totally not so stubby area, which I know doesn't make any sense, but that's uh, the clever name that that gets. So let's do this. Let's jump to the R3 router and let's do a show IP OSPF database on that router because Ronnie, this is gonna give us a real nice review of the LSAs that we have and we'll see the effect that these different area types are going to have on those LSAs. So let's uh, look at this database here. We've got the type one, the router link states of the local area, area 51. We've got the type two, those net link states, because we are in that broadcast based environment, we have the type twos. We have our type threes coming in from the backbone about resources, prefixes specifically that are in the backbone. And then we said we're doing some redistribution of RIP over there on the R1 device. So sure enough, we have the type four advertising the availability of that autonomous system boundary router. And then we have our type five externals. And of course, we would see this in the route table if we take a look at the OSPF routes and we can see the appropriate entries in the routing table based on this, including the externals, those type fives of the 